Today we're going to look at Tylen Wallace. He was a fourth round pick, pick 131 out of uh, Oklahoma State. And um, I think when we initially picked him, I said he was in my top nine and nine. He was not. He was the he was a, one of the two honorable mentions I had in my top nine and nine, and mainly because I liked the way he went and got the ball. But we all know he can win 50-50 ball, so let's get into what else he can do. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Evans, your host here at Sip the Films. And again, this video is about Tylen Wallace. And if this is your first time here, please hit the like, hit the like button uh, while you're down there. Hit the subscribe button also and click on the bell so you can be notified when I release all these uh, videos about Ravens content now that the draft is over. So we're going back to a Ravens channel now. Um, let's get into Tylen Wallace and, uh, you know, a few stats about him. Again, he was picked 131 out of uh, Oklahoma State. And um, he had almost 1,500 yards as a sophomore on uh, 86 catches. That was in 13 games. That was the most games that he's played while at Oklahoma State. Had uh, 903 yards uh, two years ago with in nine games. And then last year he played 10 games. He had 922. So he's hovered around 1,000 yards all three years at Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State has been known to put out some good receivers over the past five to ten years. Uh, but let's get started on this film. So to highlight him, he's at the top of your screen. He's up here. And let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Just working with the quarterback. Just working with the quarterback. He was in space, saw the quarterback roll out. You know, just work to the sideline with the quarterback. When, it, when scramble, scramble drill comes, the closest one, just works to the sideline. And look at all this open space he got to work with. All that open space he got to work with. So nothing, nothing big here, just, you know, realizing I'm going to work with the QB. What I like here at the end, though, is you had ample opportunity to run out of bounds. No, sir. You got another. The, the impact occurred right here. You got another four yards. Huge difference. Huge difference to me. Well, you could have just ran out of bounds right here. And now you're going to stick your shoulder down there and go get you some. I like it. I like it. Let's go and play two. Um, Why do I have a back view? I forgot. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I remember. Okay. I remember. Here's Wallace right here. You know, we talk about we want receivers to block. Watch this pancake. Mm, finish. That's why I had on. I forgot about that pancake. There he is, right? Yep. You see him up there working? See him up? Let me bag it up a little bit. Right there. Pancake in the safety. Mm, take him to the ground. I love it. I love it. I love receivers that block on the edge. I love it. It's very often you won't see a big run that has a receiver blocking down the edge. It's very often, it, it, oh, I'm sorry, it's not very often that you don't see a big run as a receiver downfield blocking. But I love it. I love it. Finish the man off. Just want to play three. Uh, he's at the top of your screen again. Right there. Let's run it. This is versus Texas. I, did, I know I didn't mention that earlier, but this is versus Texas. Run a little post route and catching it in traffic. Run a little post route and catching it in traffic. Stick that foot. Get skinny. Now you got traffic coming. Complete it. Just complete the catch. Complete the catch basically between two guys. You got Because you got the free about the break on it. Because the free is looking at that, and he's looking at that. So when the ball comes out, he's going to break on it. And, you you know, you potentially could lay this down. But he, he hangs on to it and gets the touchdown. Play four. Top of your screen again. 
up here. Look at that separation on the curl route. Separation on the curl route. Push off, push, close the gap, close the gap, sink them hips, beat the drum, separation. That's what we need. That's, what we, that's, that's plenty, plenty enough in NFL because the ball going to be on time. It ain't going to be late like this. But even with it being late, look at the yak. He worked his way back to the ball because it was late. He didn't just sit there. Worked his way back, worked his way back. Now he caught it at nine yards, uh, one yard short. So let me get some yak. So he caught it one yard short and ended up getting five, another maybe seven yards. Instead of just catching it and laying down. So now he's at the bottom. Going to the right side. Now he's at the bottom. Down here. Let's see what goes on. Just go up and get it. This is what he's known for. Just going up and getting the ball. Just a little fade, one-on-one. -on -one. Got his hands off of him so he can put his hand on him. Stacking him a little bit, pushing him back toward the toward the number so he got room to throw the ball outside. And high, uh, high points. Adjust his body and high points. it. Ball's behind him a little bit. Kind of like a back shoulder-ish. Adjust his body. Go over two hands. Make the catch. High point. Love it. That's what he's known for right there doing that he does that a lot play six at the bottom again I think I think it's him at the bottom I think it's him right here yeah just blocking on the perimeter just blocking on the perimeter being a nuisance just blocking on the perimeter you gotta do that in the offense. Look at that. That's just want to. That's want to. Still going. That's want to. Even though you try to pull me out of the end, that's want to. I love it. Love it. Don't just run routes. Be a, be a part of the whole offense. To be a receiver that blocks to me is, is selfless, and I love it. At the top. Back at the top. I let out. And I was talking. I ain't really see what went on. So let's go back and see. Close this cushion. Eh, could have been better out. Could have been a better out. He tried to speed out, and it's not really much of a speed out. He should have just went on and set it down like he did his curl and ran it out like that. Because he tried to speed out and end up drifting three yards up the field. Because when you see it stick his foot in the ground right there, he's at the 39. By the time he actually gets into the alley at the 42, 41, 42. But, ball was thrown behind him. He was able to sit down and adjust to it and catch it. Turn back inside because that's where the ball led him. And get some yak. Get another about eight yards. Hey, those, those yards matter. Those, those eight, five, six yards after the catch, those yards matter. They matter. Play eight. Um, I think he's at the bottom right here. I think that's him at the bottom. Then we got another scramble drill right here. Yeah, we do. Just come back and help your quarterback out. Big catch. Big catch. Let's look at the route. Let's look at the route. Look at the initial route. Guy playing outside leverage on him. Tries to square him up. He widens him out to run the post. Oh, he, he's just widening him out, getting him more space. Because he starts here. By the time he breaks, he's going to be right up here. So he's just widening him out, getting him more room to work this, this area in here. That's all he's doing. Just making, making this guy get wider so he can have more room to get up in there. Stick. Now, had the ball been coming to him, look at the look at the, the opening that he's created by pushing this guy wider. 
And look what the safety, safety way back here. Had the ball been on time, it, he could have fit. As long as he got it over this guy's head, it would have fit in this in this window. But the quarterback got a little pressure. And now he's pointing to him. Come back. Come back. So now, not only does he, like, throttle down, he works his way back to the QB, which allows him to get the ball completed. Even though, and, he, and he finishes it by taking a shot. Because he could have... He could have just came down this line. And had he came straight down the line, he'd have got uh, a PBU, potential interception, or he would have got, would have gotten hit harder than he did. Would have, would have gotten hit harder than he did, not hit. But he comes back, closes the gap, makes the catch, and holds on to it after the contact. After the contact. So that might have been the last one. Was that the last one? No, we got one more. Oh, I put this on here because a lot of people don't do this. This ball is clearly, hold on. This ball is clearly short. The ball's right here, I think. This ball's clearly short. Watch him fight back. And just because he fought back, do that, that flag. And you know you get chunk yards on flags. So he could have kept running like, oh, I can't get to that. But the fact that he fought back to try to get that, that call, we need that. We need that. As many as many times in Baltimore as we've been hurt with guys doing this, we need our receivers to start doing it. We need our receivers to start doing it. And then you get more trust too. You get you get more trust from the QB. Uh, I think that's the last one. That's the last one. So, you know, my, assum my assessment, not assumption, my assessment, of Tylen Wallace is he'll come in and compete for um, some second team reps, especially like a uh, second team. We go three wide um, competition in the wide receiver room, man. That's what it's all about. Have a competition in that wide receiver room, and I think um, I think Sammy's a lock. I think Hollywood's a lock. I think um, Duvernay's a lock. Um, I think the rest of them got to compete. That's where I'm at with it. Iron sharpens iron. A hey, guard damn complete, compete, get better, get better. I think Wallace would be one of the guys that that ramps up that competition, along with um, Bateman. I think Bateman's a lot. I think Bateman's a lot to make the uh, team. But it's competition in that room. It's gonna be competition to get on that field too, especially with um, you know because we play two tight ends a lot. Especially if boy come back healthy, so it's gonna be competition to get on that field. And when you get your chance, you gotta you gotta shine. You gotta shine. And I think. Um, I think Wallace will be in that mix, especially because of the ability he has to go up and get balls and the toughness he plays with. He's extremely tough, plays tough, looks looks physical to be a um, a guy that's not like not a big bulky guy, but is uh, extremely physical. So um, that's my my two cents on Tylen Wallace. And again, welcome to Baltimore, Tylen Wallace. Um, it's Coach Evans, Mississippi Tyler Fams. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I'm out. Peace. With the, 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 the.